this is a story about my website over and how I over engineered it, and you probably shouldn't, but it's um So it's a single page uh, application, so not the cool single page. No, it's literally a single markdown file that, of course, I don't want to turn into HTML myself because I can't do it anymore. So I use a tool called Hugo to build my single page markdown into a single HTML page. Then, of course, you need to serve it. Um, and Nginx got introduced, still single page. But up till now, it sounds like a reasonable plan, like you should be doing. Um, of course, next one is uh, Chrome no longer allows you to do HTTP only, so Let's Encrypt got installed. The cron job does it every 30 days, uh, maximum every 30 days, so the stack is getting a bit more complicated. Um, and of course, it needs to run everywhere, so no, not Java, no, it, it's now Docker, 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 so I have a Docker file that turns my single page into um, uh, HTML that then uh, loads it with an Nginx configuration that sets up caching for no reason whatsoever. And of course, this is the impetus of the whole project. Uh, I had a three-year prepaid Amazon EC2 instance because I was cheap, uh, Dutch. Um, <laughs> so this thing needed to do something. So that's where it was going to land. Of course, I expected too many people to come to my blog, so I'll I'll uh, load balancing needs to be added so I can grow behind it. So I introduced a load balancer called Traffic, which actually has built-in tools to do Nomad. Does uh, well, it actually uses console as service service discovery. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, does ser to do service discovery because you know it's going to scale endlessly, and I'm not going to do it. It's my private project, so it needs to work out its itself. And of course, then um, friends don't let friends use Kubernetes, so I choose Nomad to do my workload scheduling. Um, and it integrates nicely with, with console, of course, and traffic in the end, because it's all HashiCorp. Uh, I'm not sponsored, but I just like it. So um, we introduce next, ah, next one. Yes, Nomad can actually do my auto-scaling format, just even horizontally. So. If my one instance is overloaded, I add it automatically adds more. And last year, it grew uh, the ability to actually do Amazon auto scaling. So now, not only I have a single overpaid, prepaid instance, I can scale way more. Uh, next one, of course, it's you will find the the stack is starting to become uh, complicated. So I introduced Puppet to do my, all my configuration. Um, Turns out Puppet needs to be installed, which got annoying. So I introduced an yet another HashiCorp tool called Packer, which can build my AMIs. So that's a starting point. So I don't actually have to do a yum install, you know, write an installer like Leonard did. Just take an installer, stick it in the image. And then, of course, I have a base image. Then I'm going to terraform it because, you know, manual installations, who, who has the time for it? So more configuration management got added. Um, so now I, I can also basically build something. Um, it was running on my laptop so or my PC actually at home. So if, if I wasn't at home, then I couldn't run it because my state file wasn't nowhere. So I actually moved it all to GitHub Actions because that's also free. Um, turns out I was afraid that, of course, my images that I plucked from the internet that I built somewhere randomly on the internet was unsecure. So there is now actually in my CI/CD uh, a vulnerability check the open source project called Claire. Um, so every build there's Claire, but of course it's still the open internet. So now I need to run something uh, that I can trust. So I've turned on Docker Trust on Nomad, which of course you need to sign your images into a repository, which didn't work out on Amazon. So I had added Arbor. Arbor, it's a node that's publicly exposed. So to still serve you my single website, my single page, that doesn't tell you anything other than I work at a job that I no longer work at. Um, <laughs> so I have a UB key, so I have my fingerprint. Um, of course, observability, I used to run it on Nomad, but my single instance, you know, the fact of observing it was more load than the actual website. So I moved it all to, to Grafana Cloud, which is also free if you uh, um, uh, cheap enough. And of course, it needs alerting which you can turn on in Grafana Cloud. And of course, I have my own Slack channel that nobody listens to. Um, 
Yeah, so that's basically my, the entire stack. And of course, don't be me. Just I should have list, uh, hosted it on GitHub pages, but as you notice, it's it's my vehicle to learn. If you want to learn, do it this way. But no, don't do it this way. <laughs> it's it's my my conclusion still. And that's my overcomplicating my personal website to hold my beer edition. Thank you. <laughs>